These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hello, I'm Megan Thompson with your afternoon update now from ABC 15 Arizona. And we are learning a Miranda dad was playing video games while his two year old daughter was dying in a hot car. That is according to charging documents obtained by Scripps News Tucson. Those documents say the father knew his engine and AC would shut off after about 30 minutes, but he left her in there because he did not want to wake her up. He then lost track of time. That father has been charged with second degree murder. New information on the Democratic National Committee announcing it's investing $15 million in seven swing states, including Arizona. One and a half million dollars will come directly to Arizona. Our state's Democratic Party chair says Arizona opened its 15th coordinated campaign office this past weekend. We'll have more from the party chair later today. While President Joe Biden is in Nevada today, he has been releasing new details about efforts to put a federal cap on rent price increases. The plan would eliminate a tax benefit for landlords who increase tenant rent more than 5% a year. It would only impact landlords who own more than 50 units, which represents about half of all rental properties. Biden's plan would need to be approved by Congress before going into effect. Now, for the first time in Arizona history, the legislature included school meals in the state budget. That means now tens of thousands of families will not have to worry about finding enough money for lunch. ABC 15's Jamie Warren reports. What are you guys going to get? Inside this busy cafeteria at Mesquite Junior High. Go pick a table, okay? The Reynolds family is getting a fully balanced breakfast, including peaches and ice cold milk. I know some people, this is like the only food they have all day in the summer. Do you guys like it? The director of school nutrition at Gilbert Public Schools, Natalie Tenney, says. Does everyone have food? It's the fuel kids need to boost their productivity throughout the day. So that they are able to concentrate and learn and not be hungry, so that they aren't going to the nurse with their stomach hurting because they're hungry. She showed us around as dozens sat down for a free meal during summer break. But I wanted to ask her about what would happen when school was back in session. We've experienced a huge increase. I first met Tenny during the pandemic when all children could get a free meal during the school year. But funding for that ran out in 2022. It was extended to some eligible families, but then that money ran out this past May. That was until she and this group of school nutrition champions went to the Capitol asking for change. You're an advocate for these kids. Why is it so important that you speak up for them? I am passionate about feeding children. Because of that passion, Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs signed the state budget to include over $3 million to public school meals. That means eligible kids won't have to scrounge up the extra 70 cents a day to buy breakfast and lunch. ASU researchers recently published a report Report linking meals to higher academic achievement, better attendance, and overall improved test scores. None of us learn well when we're hungry. And president of the Arizona Food Bank Network, April Bradham, tells me it'll also help families struggling to make ends meet amid high prices. You're talking about additional meals that you can support at home. You're talking about, you know, being able to get a prescription for a family member. You're talking about that money going to rent. So here in Gilbert, they're expecting an additional 1,600 kids to get free meals this upcoming school year because of this new funding. That's an additional 600,000 meals a year. Come over here. And it's not just here in Gilbert. Thousands more will continue to get free meals across the state. How does it feel to know that you helped make a difference this school year? It's so rewarding. If I could feed every single child in every single school every day, I would. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Those temperatures are climbing back to 110 plus starting today. So Phoenix stops out at 111, two degrees hotter than where we ended up yesterday. To our west, near 115, again out at Lake Havasu, with temperatures in the upper 90s in spots like Sedona and Page, also Globe, and 80s to 90s from Flagstaff to Heber. A chance for more storms today, especially over the higher terrain of northern Arizona, the Muggy on Rim, the White Mountains too. A few storms through Yavapai County as well. Those storms will work their way towards the southwest and and that means the valley could see a stray thunderstorm off that higher terrain potentially by this evening into tonight. So watch for that today. Some lingering clouds this morning, a sprinkle as possible, but otherwise we'll wait until this evening for those storm chances. A 10 to 20% chance for storms each day through this week here in the valley. Better potential, of course, across northern Arizona. And then those valley storm chances get better by Sunday and early next week as storm chances continue in the high country too. And highs top out near 115 this weekend.
We will have another update tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at abc15.com or download the free ABC 15 mobile app. These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.